that. Oh, wow. How have you been able to find focus? Is there something in your life that has been able to help you stay driven? Um, it was, it was, uh, a lot of it was my dad. You know, he, he'd come down every, every so often and just, uh, yeah. come down and see me do my homework and, and, uh, just say how proud of me he is and how successful I'm going to be. The thought of success just really, really makes me happy. Like, I could, I have, I have so much freedom to really do what I want. I, I know, I know that, uh, definitely my mom, she pushed me just to be the best I could be and... Yeah. My dad supported that very well, especially after she died. Where I'm feeling kind of not motivated or kind of lazy about what I'm doing, he just gets me right back on my feet going, time you need to be doing this, or every time you pick up your trumpet to your face, you know, it's like, it's like playing at Carnegie Hall, you know, just play with excellence, do homework with excellence, achieve with excellence. <laughs> I just want to keep playing trumpet my whole life. I'm taking lessons now and I'm better than I've ever been before. Listen to all music, they all have something to say. And you get a lot of perspectives from that as well. And that kind of goes into the neuroscience, just studying the mind and why people do certain things. It's amazing that he can just push through everything and he really is the, the strength for me and my group of friends to just overcome what small things that we may encounter. Do you know who Andre Agassi is? <laughs> Not so much for his his uh, tennis playing, but more for his uh, his coping abilities. Uh, I read his biography, and just all the hardships he had to go through, and still came out intact. And it's from his book that I learned this quote goes along the lines of uh, that pain is God's megaphone to rouse a deaf world. He's able to handle things a lot more maturely than anybody else, and I really that's something I really admire him for is that he's always able to just carry himself so well and he never you can never tell that he's bothered by anything my mother in uh in the past that whole situation with her passing away that was really the worst moment so any stresses that came upon me after was just a uh, white noise to what was going on so i just kind of plowed through it and still came out on top being in high school already is tough being a freshman but tom had the extra pressures from the media and the things that were going on with his family and he never faltered, he kept persevering, he kept getting good grades. And now you've got graduation coming up. Yeah, that's going to be just a little depressing, but not having him around is uh, kind of strange. It, it feels me, it makes me feel more like that I'm becoming more independent every day. It's because it seems like another family member that I'm losing, so it's it's developing my independence uh, a little earlier than I would have liked.